Elon Musk arranged a noisy party in honor of the opening of the Giga Berlin Brandenburg factory. At the event, in addition to promising to release the first European Tesla Model Y next month, Musk also showed a new battery design for this electric car. Engineers redesigned the entire battery pack for the new 4680 cells. Elon Musk previously talked about the benefits of the new body structure, which will become a feature of the German-assembled Model Y crossovers. Using a structural battery and two one-piece bases will reduce weight by 10% and increase the range of the electric vehicle by 14%, not to mention the assembly process, by reducing the number of parts used by 370 pieces. The equipment for the manufacture of solid parts of the body base was installed at an enterprise in Germany for a long time, but only now it became known how the modernized structure looks live. Welcome to Tesla Agent, where we talk about the future of Tesla, Tesla stock, SpaceX and Elon Musk projects. Make sure to subscribe and like for a chance to win $50 at the end of the month. Why Tesla's new body structure is special. The 4680 battery pack becomes the structural member of the bodywork that connects the front and rear of the base. The latter are integral parts, which dramatically simplifies assembling an electric vehicle, although, to some extent, it complicates body repairs. The seat bases are also attached to the battery pack, which improves the manufacturability of the design and optimizes the assembly process of the electric vehicle. Tesla unveiled 4680 battery cells in the GigaFest, which happened on October 9. These battery cells are designed for longer life, durability, power, and affordability, also called the company's recent best engineering. At first, Tesla revealed the 4680 structural battery pack at the Tesla Battery Day event last year. This battery pack decreases the mass of the vehicle and increases the vehicle's rigidity and safety. These battery packs are to be built in Tesla Giga Berlin and Texas. After Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin is the following major factory that is under process. The next vehicle from Tesla Model Y will be structured by the new battery design and the new 4680 cells, and these vehicles will mostly come out of Berlin later this year. Several of the design and manufacturing innovations that will make their debuts at Giga Berlin were on display. For Ev aficionados, however, the star of the show was Tesla's new structural battery pack. A cutaway version was on display, clearly showing how the new 4680 cells are arranged in the pack. Tesla says its 4680 cells will deliver higher energy density and more excellent thermal stability than the previous generation 2170 cells. The company is currently producing them on a pilot line in California, and several suppliers are reportedly working on scaling them to mass production. The new battery pack features a cell-to-pack design, with no battery modules, making it simpler and cheaper to produce. Its structural strength enables it to be joined with Tesla's massive single-piece front and rear underbody castings, further reducing weight, complexity and cost. The vehicle's seats will be mounted directly on the battery pack. Tesla says engineers will then lower the body onto the chassis around the seats, simplifying the assembly process considerably. Tesla fans are poring over the pictures from the party and avidly analyzing the arcana of the new battery pack design. The new pack appears to have a slightly simplified cooling system cooling channels are snaking between the rows of cells, as in the 2170 packs, but it isn't clear whether there will be top and bottom cooling as well. Some see signs that the new pack is designed to be more easily recyclable a reasonable surmise, considering Tesla's growing emphasis on the battery end-of-life phase. If all goes as planned, the Berlin Gigafactory will begin producing Model S in November, and customer deliveries will start in December. Tesla has been working on its 4680 battery cells for over a year and at the launch party for its Berlin Gigafactory. The world's most valuable automaker teased the production of these next-generation battery cells, which make electric cars cheaper, with better range, and faster charging. Tesla estimates the first vehicle to come out of the Berlin Gigafactory will be the Model Y, which has become one of its best-selling cars, so much so it estimates that it will surpass the Model 3 in sales soon. Elon Musk has revealed that the output of Model Y and 4680 battery packs by the end of 2022 could be 5,000 per week, if not 10,000 per week. Tesla's goal of mass producing its 4680 battery cells recently took a significant step forward on Wednesday, when New Caledonian miner Prony Resources announced that the EV maker had agreed to purchase 42,000 tons of nickel in a multi-year deal. Nickel is a crucial material that Tesla needs for its high-powered batteries, such as the 4680 cells currently in pilot production at the company's Cato Road facility in Fremont, California. 
In a statement, Prony noted that it aims to produce 44,000 tons of nickel by 2024, effectively doubling its estimated 2021 output. During a news conference, Antonin Burier, Prony's chief executive, confirmed that Tesla is now the mining company's largest client to date. While he did not specify any details of Prony's deal with Tesla, Burier stated that the 42,000-ton volume for the EV maker was indicative and could vary. The CEO added that Prony's nickel supply agreement with Tesla had been negotiated by Swiss commodity trader Trafigura, a shareholder in the mining firm. Elon Musk also signed the deal between Tesla and Prony last month. Interestingly enough, Tesla and Prony had already been associated even before their recently announced nickel deal. The electric car maker was an advisor on product and sustainability standards for the miner. Prony is not alone in its role as a critical nickel supplier for Tesla. Earlier this year, Tesla also signed a deal to acquire nickel from BHP's operations in Australia. And considering Tesla's goal of ramping its vehicle and energy storage products in the coming years, it would not be surprising if the company inks several more deals with other nickel suppliers soon. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, after all, has emphasized that nickel would be a key component for its long-range vehicle's batteries. I'd like to re-emphasize, any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel. Wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel, and don't wait for nickel to go back to some high point that you experienced five years ago. Go for efficiency and environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period if you mine nickel efficiently. In an environmentally sensitive way, Musk said during last year's Battery Day event, which featured the official unveiling of the company's custom 4680 cells. The Tesla CEO has been consistent on his nickel stance. During the recently held 2021 annual shareholder meeting, Musk reiterated that the company's most demanding vehicles like the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi would be using a nickel-based cathode. The Tesla CEO also reiterated the notion that the company's standard range vehicles and battery storage products will use cells fitted with an iron-based cathode. What matters is the cathode. Our long-range vehicles use a nickel-based cathode. But for our standard range vehicles and stationary vehicles, we're using iron-based cathode," Musk said. Canada-based RockTech Lithium announced the construction of Europe's first lithium refining facility in Gubin, Brandenburg. It plans to produce battery-grade lithium hydroxide for lithium-ion batteries, making it a perfect fit for Tesla Giga Berlin, which happens to be just 60 kilometers 37 miles, away. In a press release, Rock Tech Lithium noted that it plans to invest up to 470 million euros, 545 million dollars, on all its factory units for the Gubin site. The company expects the converter plant to be complete by 2024. It estimates that Rock Tech will need around 160 technicians, engineers, and production staff to operate the entire plant. With 160 employees, Rocktech believes it could produce about 24,000 metric tons of lithium hydroxide per year, enough to equip around 500,000 electric cars with lithium-ion batteries. Coincidentally, Tesla Giga Berlin is just 60 kilometers away, and its initial production goal is to manufacture 500,000 vehicles per year. Tesla CEO Elon Musk thinks it will take Giga Berlin about a year to reach total production capacity. At Tesla's recent GigaFest Country Fair in Brandenburg, the company displayed a poster that aimed to produce one car body every 45 seconds. Elon Musk explained that with those times, Giga Berlin might be able to make 10,000 vehicles per week if it ran 24-7, which equates to 520,000 cars per year. Rocktech has not officially announced a partnership with Tesla Giga Berlin. However, its proximity to Gigafactory Berlin may be beneficial to both companies. Besides vehicles, Tesla plans to produce its 4680 cells in Brandenburg, and it will need to establish a supply chain to make batteries. Do you like what Elon Musk is doing with the 4680 batteries? Let me know down below. I hope this video has given you a great insight into what is happening with the upcoming Tesla batteries. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, comment below what you think of the Tesla 4680 batteries. See you in the next one.